So the reason you clicked on this video is because you want to know whether a tech sales bootcamp is worth it or not. And I have gotten a ton of requests to do videos on the different types of boot camps and tech sales is one of the ones that pops up over and over again. And that's especially true because I'm such a big fan of the career itself. Now, just because I'm a big fan of the career of tech sales does not mean that I'm a fan of tech sales boot camps. And I'm just going to come out with it. I'm not going to spoil the video or anything, but some of the biggest named tech sales boot camps out there that have thousands and thousands of students are definitely not worth it. But does that mean that all the tech sales boot camps are bad? Not necessarily. And in this video, I'm going to help you to decide if a boot camp is the right choice for you or not. And I'm also going to make a lot of boot camps out there very, very angry. So please don't sue me, bro. So buckle your seatbelts, smack that like button, and let's jump right into it. All right. So first things first, for those who don't know, what exactly is a tech sales boot camp? Now, the name tech sales basically is just an umbrella term for a bunch of different careers that are very related. These careers are software sales, SaaS sales, which stands for software as a service, business development representative, and sales development representative. Now, the reason that these careers are so popular and the reason that I talk about them on my channel is not only is there a ridiculous amount of demand even at the entry level for careers like this, but on top of that, it also pays super well even in your very first year. And if all of that wasn't enough, you do not need a college degree or previous experience in order to get into tech sales. Now, there are many examples of people getting into tech sales without a college degree, without any experience and making over $70,000 a year in their first year. I've even interviewed several of these people on my channel. There's even extreme examples of people getting into tech sales without any experience and making $130,000 in their first year. And I interviewed my friend Antoine from Black Heights and he makes over $500,000 a year and he's about five years into tech sales. So this is a career where you can make a lot of money right off the bat. And if you're a high performer, you do really well, you have a ton of opportunity to make even more money down the line. Now, boot camps claim to be able to get you into tech sales in a very short amount of time. So they're basically going to train you how to do it, and they are going to help you to get a job. And that is why you hear so much buzz about tech sales boot camps. So the next question is, why should you do a tech sales boot camp? Well, first of all, technology sales in general makes about $106,000 a year. And like I said, there's a ton of examples of people who get into tech sales and have a lot of success with it. And a lot of the people that I've interviewed on this channel have no college degree and no experience. Or in some cases, they do have a college degree, but they got it in something that didn't help them at all. And they sort of went down a career path that they weren't happy with. Now, some companies still require a college degree. It's this old, traditional, outdated sort of thing. But if you attend a boot camp, they actually drop that requirement in many cases. And this is especially true for certain well-respected ones, which I'm going to mention later. Now, let's talk a little bit more about tech sales jobs and specific Specifically, we're going to talk about the demand. Now, first of all, the technology industry has a ton of demand in general. BLS estimates that the technology industry is going to grow 13% over the next 10 years, usually like 4 to 5% is average. And sales is one of the most valuable skills you can learn. So when you combine technology skills and sales skills together, magical things happen. Now, when you type in business development on LinkedIn, at the entry level only, you're going to see that 354,000 results pop up. So there are a ton of companies out there that need people even at the entry level in this business development role. Next, let's talk about whether employers hire people who graduate from tech sales boot camps. So this is the part where it gets interesting. Some employers, like I said, still require a college degree. A lot of them drop that in general, and then some of them drop it just for people who go to boot camps. So the answer to this is yes, employers absolutely do hire people who graduate from tech sales boot camps. But wait until I talk about the other sections before you drop everything and sign up for a tech sales boot camp because this segues perfectly into the next section which is tech sales boot camps versus tech sales degrees versus tech sales certificates versus tech sales online courses versus self-taught. So there are many different ways of getting into tech sales. Like I just mentioned, all of those different ways, certificates, online courses, boot camps, self-taught, etc. Now, those of you who've watched this channel before, I've said this over and over again, the best way to get into a career path is going to be different depending on your situation and the career path that you're trying to get into. So for instance, with data analytics, a lot of the time I typically recommend certificates 
certificates. However, there's a lot of other career paths out there where I don't recommend certificates. Self-taught can be really good for the right type of personality, but you have to be really creative, really motivated, and you have to be somebody who can do stuff without having any structure. Now, boot camps can be good, but they're also very expensive. There's literally boot camps that cost $30,000. So that brings me to the next question, which is, are tech sales boot camps worth it? So I basically did an analysis of the top five tech sales boot camps according to Career Karma and CourseReport.com. And overall, when you average it all out, if you compare like getting a college degree to get into tech sales versus a tech sales boot camp, the boot camp is probably a better deal. It's going to save you like 3 to 4 years of time and it's going to save you some money. However, there are some boot camps that are much much better than others. And that brings me to the next section which is what is the best tech sales boot camp. So like I said, I looked at these websites and the top 5 tech sales boot camps were Elevate, High Rise Academy, Pre-hired, Springboard, and SV Academy. Now, one thing about these boot camps is before the pandemic happened, a lot of these boot camps were actually in person. So you'd go in person, you get that in person training. And that can be very valuable, especially if you're more of like a hands on type of person. But since the pandemic, of course, most of these boot camps went online. But the problem is, most of them still charge the same amount, even though they didn't have that giant infrastructure cost that you have to have if you have an in person boot camp. And so these are all essentially just online courses. So I compared these these boot camps to an online course that I know gets people results and that is course careers so if you look here the average rating on career karma for course careers was five stars the average rating for elevate was 4.8 high rise academy was 4.96 pre-hired was 4.9 springboard was 4.6 and SV Academy was 4.9 so course careers was clearly number one here with elevate coming in at second place and then SV Academy came in in third place then if you look at the cost course careers is four hundred and fifty dollars Elevate is $25,000. High Rise Academy is $4,000, Pre-Hired is $30,000, Springboard is $5,000, and SV Academy is $10,000. Now, I got these numbers from their websites as well as Course Report and Career Karma, so if they change the numbers, please, you know, double check me on this. But clearly, Course Careers is number one, it's the cheapest. High Rise is number two at $4,000, that's reasonable. And Springboard is number three at $5,000. But again, Course Careers does come in at number one. And when you look at the length of the course itself, Course careers, I know for a fact people are getting through it in one month, sometimes even less than that. If you do it part time, it might take a little bit longer. Elevate, they say about 2.5 months. High rise is about 1.5 months. Pre-hired was four months, Springboard was four months, and SV Academy was four months. So again, Course Careers came in at number one. People are getting through it in one month quite often, and they are oftentimes securing jobs in just one month as well. High Rise Academy came in second at 1.5 months. Elevate came in third at 2.5 months. So Course Careers was number one in all three categories. However, High Rise was number two, so they did pretty well. Now, a couple of notes here. Uh, High Rise Academy, for some reason, I had a lot of trouble finding exactly how much it was. Uh, but I saw two different sources. One said 4,000, the other one said 9,000. So you want to double check me on that, maybe email them or something. And then another thing about High Rise is I couldn't find all that many verifiable reviews or interviews. So all of these different boot camps have like reviews where they have a picture of a person. It's like, oh, this boot camp was awesome or whatever. Those reviews are, I mean, it's better than nothing, but really what you want to look for when it comes to reviews is actual interviews where they're asking the person about their experience and the person is giving genuine answers because a person has to be much more excited about something to do an actual interview rather than, you know, doing some sort of exit survey or something like that after they get through the boot camp when they're most excited about things. And then they say some nice things about the boot camp on the exit survey. And then, you know, the boot camp uses that as their, their marketing as a review. So it's much, much better when people actually do video interviews because you can tell whether the person is genuinely happy, genuinely excited with their experience. Now, Course Careers, on the other hand, has a ton of video interviews. If you look at the Course Careers LinkedIn, there's tons of people who talk about it and there's lots of video interviews of people who are super, super passionate about it. And on top of that, Course Careers actually partners with companies to create internships and jobs. So looking at these websites and looking at sort of what they offer, offer, you know, you've got like a cohort, you've got other people that you work with, you've got, you know, different groups where you can talk to each other, like a discord, sometimes they use like Facebook groups or other types of groups where you can basically talk with other people, which is great, because that makes it more social. Basically, everything that all of these different boot camps offer, course careers offers 
for about one tenth or maybe even like one thirtieth of the price. And in the case of the $30,000 bootcamp, it's like one fiftieth or one eightieth of the price. And if you're interested in course careers and you're wondering about whether you're a good fit to go into tech sales or you just want to learn more, they do have a free training, which I will put linked down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And if you want $50 off, you can use my coupon code, which is Shane50. So yeah, I might've just saved you over $30,000 with this video. If you're somebody who's trying to go into tech sales and you're thinking about paying for a $30,000 thousand dollar boot camp don't get me wrong i'm sure those boot camps do get people good outcomes but there's just way better alternatives to those and if you want to look at some interviews of people who have gone through course careers or recommend course careers which by the way every single person on all those thumbnails either went through course careers themselves and got a job or they recommend course careers check that out right here